Yo guys, what's good? It's Coffee, and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be doing a comparison between a budget webcam, which is the Logitech C920, a budget smartphone, which is going to be the iPhone 12, and a budget DSLR camera, which is going to be the Canon Rebel T7, uh, which is part of the EOS series. So, uh, yeah. I want to start on this webcam, just because it's um, another webcam that I have, and I don't want to spoil the other ones for you yet, but also, I want you guys to get used to the quality of a amazing webcam. <laughs> no, but like, actually, let's switch to the uh, webcam first. Now, this is the webcam, you guys may know it as the Logitech C920. Um, I use this in a lot of my videos as well as the DSLR, so I may look a little bit familiar, but um, yeah. So this is a $50 Logitech C920. It could be found from anywhere from 50 to 80. I actually got it for 75, but let's round that up to 80 because it's easier. And um, yeah, it shoots 1080p video at 30 FPS max but it does take photos at um i believe it's 2500 pixels by i don't even know um it has a software but it is also just plug and play so it can run off of auto settings and everything um yeah it also has a stereo microphone built into it which picks up everything from around your sound uh from around your room and i know this for a fact because it happens to me all the time um that's why i don't use it and that's why i stick with this microphone right here now let's switch to the other budget option which is going to be the iphone 12. i'm not a big fan of the iphone 12. i think it's a little bit too wide for me but personally if this were to be like in the corner as a webcam i wouldn't mind it um you could like crop it a little bit that's way too far you could like crop it a little bit and just have like um a little stream thing like have it in the corner or something i don't think that would be too bad but um no this is the iphone 12 and uh i i don't know i i don't think it's uh, it's too far away for me um also the colors are a little bit off and you can't change the auto settings um i'm using an application which allows me to do 1080p 60 um and you don't even have to download it link in the description uh, i might do a video on this it's like a really really good software um it's actually not even a software it's a website it's really good it's called obs.ninja and <laughs> it lets you connect your phone to your computer wirelessly and uh record videos and use it for streams so yeah this is 1080p 60 on the iphone 12 auto settings now we are on the dslr camera so the good part of a dslr camera is you have tons of options when it comes to settings you have adjustable iso focal length um shutter speed uh even zoom and it's not like a digital zoom it is an actual um it's an optical zoom you have this amazing ui interface and i don't know i'm, I'm just a very big fan of the camera itself it's really good for photography and um it wouldn't hurt to use this as a webcam so i have three batteries that i charge and use in this i am shooting at 1080p 30 um and but it can't record 720p at 60 fps i'm just i'm not i'm not really into doing that because it uh lessens the quality of the video so um this is partially zoomed in now you can zoom this out even more and this is it zoomed out at 16 um, millimeters this is a dslr and not a mirrorless so it is a bit of a cropped sensor if that's not something you're into i suggest um, looking for the sony a6000 or the canon m50 which are both beginner mirrorless cameras and uh i feel like you might have a better experience with that but this is just the one that i have and that i'm used to so um yeah i like using it in my streams in my videos Ugh. um whenever i can now let's do one quick um flip through so this is the iphone 12 um on its base camera not even on its zoom camera we can so this is it's like not this quite the span of my arms and i don't think here let's switch to the dslr zoom this up a 
I don't think it's quite as... I think this might be a little bit wider if I'm being 100% honest. But I'm not quite sure. Um, and then this one, this is pretty zoomed in. But I can zoom it out a little bit, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can zoom this one out a little bit too. Um, it's just not the greatest um, field of view. It is a 72 degree field of view, and this one is the closest out of all of them because they are a little bit far away. Um, like you could see the webcam, like where, where uh, like right here, right here, you could see the webcam. Um, but I don't know. I I don't I think I think I like the base colors on auto settings. I think I like the webcams more. But if I do play around with the settings on my DSLR, I can get it to look uh, even better. So speaking of playing around with the settings, let's let's do that. Um, let's change this to uh, let's change this to maybe different white balance. I'm not sure. Auto white balance. I don't know. This is just on auto white balance, so you could probably get better from um, something else. Um, this might be good. It's really up to you. Um, I think I might stick with this one. You could lower the uh, ISO to like 400 or something, but I'm going to keep it at 800. And I have my shutter speed at 140, so 1 over 40, and my aperture is at 4. Um, also, the good thing about DSLRs is uh, actual depth of field, unlike... Um, like with the iphone 12 there are softwares and programs on the phone that you can record videos with um portrait mode but not actually like stream footage with portrait mode and webcams there is also software like nvidia broadcast or um z split or all those other softwares but they cost money they don't work the greatest so dslr is the best way to go if you guys want natural depth of field um also, you can upgrade lenses, which is really cool, and that you can't do with the other ones. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to say the best budget option is going to be the iPhone 12. Um, just because you get a wide field of view, you get um, decent quality, um, you also get a phone that works super well. Like this phone. The colors can use some work, but I can probably go into um filters and fix that uh with some color correction so let's do that right now lower the saturation i think that's looking better already yeah so um that's all you really need to do to have a really good camera what is in your pocket can be your webcam and your streams uh, if this video is useful please smash the like button i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye